Hello, Devin here. In today's video, we'll be discussing math functions, embedded data, and thresholds. Sometimes in a survey, you may want to determine if a customer meets a certain threshold by performing a math function between two survey questions. If they meet that threshold, you can show additional questions. You could end the survey. You could even redirect them to another survey if you wanted to. So in this example of the survey we've created, the first block we asked the respondents average salary. In the second block, we ask the salary of their spouse. In the third block, we use pipe text to show results of their answers. And in the fourth block, we only show the results if the total combined salary is greater than 60,000. So let's go into the survey preview right now. So let's say that my average salary is 50,000, right? And then my spouse's salary is only 5,000 in the year. As you can see in the third block, my average salary is 50,000, my spouse's salary is 5,000, and then I have a combined salary of 55,000, right? So if I click next, the fourth block will not show up, right? Let me restart the survey. So let's say my average salary is 40,000, and my spouse's salary is $20,000 a year, right? As you can see here, my average salary is 40,000, my spouse's salary is 20,000, the combined salary of 60,000, which means that the fourth block should now show, right? Here it is. The question will only display if a combined salary is equal to 60,000 or greater. Awesome. So how did I do this? So what you do is you go into your survey flow. And as you can see here, I have three embedded data. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna recreate this so I can just walk you through my thought process. So I click on add below, click on embedded data. So I can name the embedded data field anything that I want. I just chose to choose average salary. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pipe text my block one answer uh, into the average salary. So average salary, selected choices, right? So basically anything that the person chose in the block one will attach to the embedded data of average salary. I'm gonna do the same thing for my spouse's average salary. And then I'm gonna pipe text block two's answer into it. Survey questions, block two into this right here. As for the third embedded data called combined salary, this is how we add a math function into Excel survey flow. So it goes, what you have to do is type in dollar sign E curly bracket and then close curly bracket, right? So anything between these two curly uh, brackets, you, it can do any math function that you want, right? Think of it as sort of an Excel spreadsheet. And so what I do here is I just insert my survey question, uh, uh, average salary, which is here, selected choices. All I do is click a plus uh, space plus sign, space again, and I just insert my block two answer. Here we go. And then that's pretty much it. And that's how you combine two survey questions together with a math function. And I just created a branch logic here saying that if greater than or equal to 60,000, you know, show this question, right? There's all the all these other match functions here. Other than that, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave the comment down below or reach out to me on LinkedIn. And don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.